I want to talk about audio signal levels in this video and why understanding and correctly applying the different types of audio signal level in your setup would be a game changer in your audio mixing experience. Let's jump right into it. The first thing I'll talk about is the mic level signal. A uh, mic level or microphone level signal refers to the voltage a microphone generates when it picks up sound, typically in a few thousands of a volt. Now, of course, this voltage depends on distance and the sound level. Of the four main types of audio signals I'll be discussing in this video, the mic level is the weakest and therefore requires a preamplifier to bring it up to line level. I'll be discussing about line level in a bit but you need to bring the microphone level signal to line level signal because the mixers and other professional signal processing equipment operate at line level now preamplifiers are mostly built into mixers or digital stage boxes and then you use the gain knob to control the to boost the mic level to um, the line level signal you can also find preamplifiers as single channel or multi-channel standalone devices finally and to get a bit technical here microphone levels are usually specified between minus 60 and minus 40 dbu now dbu and dbv are decibel measurements relative to voltage dbu is um, decibel relative to 0.775 volts such that 0 dbu is equal to 0.775 volts and dbv is dbv is a decibel measurement relative to one volt so 0 dBV is equal to 1 volt. The second audio signal I'll be talking about is the line level signal. Now line level signals are approximately 1 volt and are about 1000 times stronger than microphone level signals. So ordinarily you wouldn't expect both mic and line level signal to use the same inputs. Now the line level signal is the signal level that actually flows through your mixing console and all your professional uh, signal processing equipment just before it gets to the power amplifier that drives your loudspeaker. There are two standards of line level signals. There is minus 10 dBV, which is what you find in consumer equipment like MP3 and DVD players. And then there is plus 4 dBU, which is what you find in mixing consoles and professional signal processing equipment. The other two types of audio signals you will encounter are instrument level signals and speaker level signals. Now, instrument level signals are signals that you usually find um, produced by instruments such as electric bass and um, guitars. Now these instruments sometimes are high impedance signals and they are quite higher than mic level signals and lower than line level signals. Line level signals. So you still need some form of preamplification to be able to bring them up to line level. Speaker levels on the other hand are the highest in voltage values and therefore require speaker cables for to transfer them. Uh, these are the signals that drive your loudspeakers and the power amplifier converts the line level signal to the speaker level signal. This is also true in active loudspeakers where the power amplifier is built into the speaker. Although you send the line level signal directly from the mixing console, your signal processing equipment to the active speaker, the power amplifier is built into it and then the line level signal is converted to the speaker level. That's what actually drives the speaker and gives us sound. Now, why is all of this information on audio signal levels important? Now, it is because it helps you match levels correctly. Matching uh, a device to the correct input is very crucial because there is no real technical tolerance for mistakes. For example, if you connect a microphone to a line input, then you almost get no sound at all because the mic level signal is too weak to drive the line input. And so if you try to boost the signal, you get noise because of poor signal to noise ratio. And on the other hand, if you connect a line level signal to a microphone input, then the signal being too hot or greater than what the input is meant to handle, you get distortion already. There are for some professional equipment, they can they have uh, maybe they can be switchable between mic level and line level, but this is important that you find out if what your equipment can handle or what the input you're connecting to actually requires and what it it can take, and this would help you in being able to connect the right signal to the right input. Now for some helpful hints, a mic level input is typically a female XLR connector, while a line level input uses um, a jack, a quarter inch or an eighth inch TS or TRS jack or an ROC connector. Now um, you should refrain from assuming if you're not sure uh, which input is which. Um, most mixers or most stage boxes are typically clearly marked uh, what kind of um, signal level they accept. If you have all mic level inputs in your mixer or in your stage box and you want to connect in line level inputs to it like a keyboard, um, then you can use a DI box or an attenuator to bring the signal down to a mic level signal to make um, 
mixing a whole lot easier and everything to be properly matched thank you very much for sticking around till the end of the video i hope you found value uh, on it if you have any question do leave me um a comment and then i'll try as much as possible to respond to it other than that i'm kelvin i'll see you in the next video